Uh, the first thing I wanted to make sure we talked about was Norm McDonald. Uh, he passed away a couple uh, yeah, hours ago. Uh, that was so sad to hear. Uh, Norm, very funny comedian. Uh, I loved him in the movie Screwed. Uh, I love his SNL bits. Um, yeah, yeah. Is there anything you guys really love that he did? His writing, man. I think his writing, like you said, the bits on SNL are, are the things that stuck out the most for me. Um, being that I used to have to sneak and watch it in the middle of the night while my grandmother was sleeping. But um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, his bits on um, SNL were stood out. Because I actually didn't put the face with the name. At first when I saw that the face, I was like, wait a minute, I know this guy. What What, what is he on? And then when I saw the name, I was like, oh, snap. Like, I can't believe, you know. I mean, but everybody, man, it is... 2021 sucks, dude. That's all I can say. Yeah, I um, <clears throat> I remember being a kid, man, and uh, well, not a kid, more like a teen, and uh, watching SNL and his uh weekend updates, and I was like, man, this dude is bold, because a lot of the stuff he was saying, I was like, I don't got the heart for that, but it was funny, you know what I'm saying? And um, then most recently, uh, watching the Mike Tyson mysteries, um, he played the voice of um, uh, I can't remember the character's name, but it was the bird, and the Mike Tyson mysteries on Adult Swim, man, and it was oh. always hilarious always hilarious so um you know true og man and like you said you know it seems like com- comedy has lost a lot of great figures um just in 2021 alone you know i can off my top of my head at least five deaths so um you know it's uh it's a sad time man just praying of course for the family and um another one uh og gone too soon man yes yeah I, uh, i'm obsessed with norm i was really sad <laughs> to hear it today T League yeah. knows. I think uh, first time I mentioned, we talked about our favorite comedians. I mentioned him. I mean, he, yeah. uh, I didn't even get into him until I started doing stand up. And then you kind of, it's weird because I feel like the reaction today is mostly from comedians because comedians mm-hmm. understand what he was up to. And he oh. didn't have a mass appeal because he did things so fearlessly on stage. Like he said things that were shocking. And And he was so bold and so true to what he thought was funny. And to be that unapologetic about it, there's so many opportunities in comedy to like kind of pander or do the safe thing or not take a risk. But he was anti that. Um, And so he was objectively hilarious. The thing I really liked about Norm was he was very he was very serious person, too. If you get into his interviews and I encourage anybody who hasn't, you know, listened to a lot of his stuff to go online there's there's hours and hours of podcasts interviews things and occasionally you'll find one where he's a very serious person mm-hmm. and he talked a lot about death and that's where i'm really fascinated about the news because he was dealing with cancer for 10 years a lot like I think Chad yeah. Bozeman also had like he was dealing with cancer for a while like but he just didn't tell anybody and say nothing yeah and he had that netflix show and he would often ask a lot of his guests, what do you think about death? What do you think about God? What do you think about the afterlife? And now I'm thinking, did he know that he was likely on the way out and he was kind of leaving breadcrumbs of like, you know, um, thinking about that in your legacy and, uh, and everything. And, uh, and he's got a great book I recommend. It's called Not a Memoir Based on a True Story. Um, I'm sure it'll be promoted a lot on Amazon and everything, but that uh, very powerful book um, I read it and I tweeted at him in January that I really enjoyed the book and he replied to the tweet. And that was like the highlight of my year. That's dope. Yeah. I put it on my story, but, uh, for him to take the time to reply to my stupid tweet, I mean, that's a good dude. And he replies to a lot of people. So like he, he loves the, you know, he had a real love for the audience, for people. And, uh, yeah, it was devastating. Uh, so I, sorry to go on so long, but I, yeah. No, it's no, one no. of the things, yeah, it makes you, you, you know, want to give people their flowers before they, they're gone, man, you know, exactly. so, yeah, yeah if you really say somebody, you need to let them know. I reached out to Kelly Rowland today, and I just wanted to let her know how <laughs> well, Yeah. Nice. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird, though. Sometimes when people die, I think, man, I should change something about my life. I should live more. But it was weird now with stand-up. I can't think of anything better that we could be doing versus yeah. comedy i was like i wouldn't change anything i would do comedy and forever um and that that was kind of like i i think it's really a cool thing what he did with his life and i think it's cool for stand-up audience and comedians alike i think it's a special thing so yeah for sure nice i was telling uh david earlier and uh not not and like i said it's not trying to make a joke out of anything but i only can imagine somebody in nbc is like 
we can't use any of these clips. Let's just say uh, R.I.P. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's just, just, let's just put can. R.I.P. Yeah, let's not. Uh, uh, we, oh, you, know, yeah. you, you know why you liked him. That's good. Um, savage. Yeah. He's a yes. savage. Yes. 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 I was telling, also telling David earlier, do you know that him and um, O.J. actually became friends later on in life? Nah, I didn't know that either. Uh, if not friends, they were like cool at least. Like they could they could be in the same room with each other. Yeah, I saw Norm on David Spade show. He said he rethought the whole OJ thing, and he said, "Yeah, I, th- I think uh, I think he's he uh, innocent by jury of his peers. I think he's good." Wow, I bet you they yeah. were cut up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stabbing good time. <laughs> oh, you see, Mike Spade is when I do oh yeah, we're making show. jokes. Nah, don't fucking encourage this stuff. <laughs> Uh, you think these dad jokes stop here, Don? You're... Nah, it's going, it's going forever. It's like Master P ain't no limit. No uh, limit, bro. No don't tell us stop. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. My bad, Mike. No, get, my bad, no, Mike. My bad, Mike. Nah, nah, I get it, Don, because it's just like you see it like, you, oh, man, he doesn't do this all the time. Then. <laughs> all day, every day. All damn day. Uh, <laughs> 